Hi everyone, it's me, Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are doing well. If not, I really hope I can help you. This is a reading where it's a very comfortable space. I'm going to look and see what's coming through for you and let's have a look. Let's let's have a look. Also, I do offer personal services um, like personal tarot readings, uh, rituals to manifest different areas of your life and also there are intention items which have thousands of five-star reviews. Everything is linked in the description box below and um, everything's on shopmoonlightguidance.com as well and yeah, in the description box. But I offer tarot readings. There's rituals for love, money, marriage, career, healing, work, business, justice, beauty, black magic removal, protection ritual, etc. And intention items like candles, sage bundles, teas, bracelets, necklaces, which are all handmade, meditated with and staged, and um, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow as well. So there's loads of things if you wanted to have a look, but let's see what's coming through for your reading. Recently, I feel like your mind has been all over the place, and it's because you just feel like nothing is fully settled if that makes sense like there's just always this worry that you have about everything and you're trying to figure things out you're trying to find more peace and it's almost like you have a little bit of peace in your life and then something else goes wrong and that's what i see here is that you're just really thinking a lot about things happening in your life things that have happened things that haven't happened just a lot of thinking a lot of pondering a lot of wondering and there's just a lot, okay? There's just a lot that I'm picking up on that has been going on and happening. So I also have here the Six of Swords and the Six of Swords is quite significant because the Six of Swords really does represent um, the fact that, you know, deep down, um, you don't feel like something is right. So let's have a look and see what this is. So I feel like here there is someone that walked away from you, okay? They walked away from you and it has made you feel emotionally very sad and distressed and confused um, as well because either they walked away from you or they created distance between you both because that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing distance and you feeling very lonely so one plus one sort of equals two in that sense where you're not feeling great you're not feeling happy with the circumstances it's been really overwhelming it's overworked your energy a lot you feel very drained very stressed and very sad and you just don't know how to go about things. It really hurts you that this person treated you in the way that they have, and it upsets you a lot that they treated you in the way that they have, and you don't know oftentimes like how to deal with that kind of energy because it's just so overwhelming, basically. Um, but deep down, you know that this person is going to come around. Deep down, you know that there's unfinished business. Deep down, you feel like, you know what, this person is going to come to me and they will apologize. And that's interesting because... That's exactly what's going to happen with the Ace of Wands. Action is going to be taken from this person that has treated you this way. And that is actually then going to trigger them to come to you, to talk to you and apologize to you based on the behavior that they then projected onto you. So that's what I see here with the Seven of Cups, okay? There is such a strong and such a powerful energy here of them progressing things with you and moving things along with you and things getting better between you both as well from what I am seeing. So the Seven of Cups really does showcase this energy and I do feel like things between both of you will improve and get so much better um, especially because the five of pentacles here shows that you feel quite lonely okay so that's something that i really do see here it's almost like you know that this person has done you wrong but your intuition is telling you like you know what this person's going to come back around they're going to apologize but then you get quite sad because then you think like well they haven't done it yet like they're not here right now like when are they coming is it happening hello you know it's that kind of energy where it's something that you're anticipating and um it hasn't happened so it, it sort of plays around with your mind where you might even like feel it in your dreams and sort of see it or daydream about it and then you feel like you're kind of going insane all over the place mentally and emotionally sort of like waiting or anticipating for it to happen and then it's not happening it's like oh you know it's it's like a lot so two of cups here shows that it's going to happen two of cups shows that they will come to you properly in the way that you deserve them to come to you they will communicate with you they will come forward towards you they will talk to you from what i see and even with the knight of wands as well i do see that communication is going to come from their side towards you without you having to do anything okay this person is going to feel very bad about how they've treated you and it almost seems to me with a seven of swords i need a card with that seven of swords so let's get it out 
taste of their own medicine. I just knew it. I was going to say taste of their own medicine, but I knew we needed, you know, some clarifying cards for this. Um, Seven of Swords, and here it is, you know, this Ten of Swords plus the Moon plus the Three of Wands. It is a very, very strong energy here that I am picking up on where essentially they just they are going to get treated in a way that is not great, which is sad. We don't want people to get treated in ways like that, right? But they will basically get treated in a way that is not nice and not great. And what it will do, um, sorry, I have like an itchy neck. <laughs> what it will do is it will actually trigger them to realize your energy, that you would have never done something like this to them, you would have never treated them badly, and that you have always been such a pure and kind soul. And it will trigger them to like do so much more towards you from what I see, especially with the moon and the three of wands and also the ten of swords as well. They will be so triggered to think more about you, to do more towards you, to be more proactive. It will literally trigger them to be much more towards you than ever against you, and they will not want to be mean or rude or anything like that towards you because they are going to get a huge taste of their own medicine and how they have treated you by being really abrupt to you is how somebody else personally or professionally is going to treat them and that is going to make them open up their eyes for how they have treated you and it is going to make them realize like oh my god what am i doing why am i being like this i can't believe i treated you this badly and it is going to make them then want to come around they will apologize to you from what i am seeing and the rest is history, right? The rest is history. Yeah, so here they are. Okay, they're going to come back around. We have that here with the Page of Swords and also the Eight of Pentacles. Like they will try to work towards you, they will try to work with you rather than against you. They will try to make things happen. They will be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I treated you this way. I can't believe I said this. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I, you know, I, I did all of this. Like how and why and why did I do all of that? You know, is, is what they will literally think. Like, I can't believe I said all of these things and did it in that way. So only a matter of time before they come to you. It confirms your intuition. It really does. They come to you. Um, also, I feel like they will come to you when you are much more balanced within yourself. Now, it's interesting, we've got yin and yang, we've got two, 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 and we've got balance. So we also had here as well, let me find the card, two of cups, okay? When you are not begging, pleading, chasing, or desperately needing this person's energy, it's actually when they will come to you. So it's really about creating that balance within yourself. Remember the law of attraction works with detachment. Detachment is acceptance towards where you are right now. It's about finding peace in your current day-to-day -day life, even if it's not exactly where you want it to be. Law of attraction means knowing what you want and being okay without it. So again, it's about having acceptance and healing towards where you are in your life. If it's something that you really struggle with, I do have rituals on my website for that. Specifically, the detachment ritual helps you to focus and pull more energy back towards yourself which then in turn allows all of your manifestations to take place and it brings more peace into your life as well so this is really really important is if you want things to work in your life you have to let it work with what's working right now okay so this is really really important um, and the detachment ritual is on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com and link down below if anyone is ever interested especially if you find it really hard to focus on yourself if you find it really hard to meditate if you find your mind wandering into directions where you just don't know what to do how to do it or how to help yourself that ritual can help you a lot but basically this person will come when you are really optimally most balanced within yourself and your own energy to the point where you are not desperately searching or seeking for another person to actually come to you justice also gets served as well when you are much more focused on your own energy and yourself rather than focusing on getting justice okay because justice will get served when you honestly least expect it but also when your energy is not constantly on it so that's the other thing as well there is also a justice ritual on my website as well if anyone's ever interested but we have here i've tried to distract myself but i just can't seem to get over you um, that is how I know that this connection is something special. So they feel really connected, you know, no matter how much they try to drift away from you, they realize that they just can't seem to get over you, right? Like no matter how far they wander, they always find themselves coming and being drawn back to you, feeling close to you, feeling more and more connected to you as time goes by. And, um, they just can't run away or go in another direction they don't feel great being around anyone else from what i see here they feel most connected to you most drawn to you most 
most towards you and that's just what I see here is like they literally feel the closest towards you they feel the most drawn towards you and they feel the most connected to you no matter how far they wander basically and that's what I see here so this is your reading if this resonates with you don't forget to like this reading and comment down below let me know how it resonates don't forget to check out um, moonlight.guidance on instagram and moonlight guidance on tiktok I post short readings on there every single day for you and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well if you wanted to and like I mentioned all the other information is in the description box below and I'll see you all very soon bye